Ladies and gentlemen, today VOA is honored to be able to host the organizers of the Cambodian Town Film Festival in Long Beach. Here is Prak Lee, a well-known Cambodian rapper and filmmaker Kay Lee So. Welcome both of you to our show. My first question is, why are you going to organize the Cambodian Town Film Festival in Long Beach? Washington. Um, I, I would like to speak in English. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Uh, well, the idea of the Cambodia Town Film Festival um, that's happening in September 14th and 15th in Long Beach, California, in Cambodia Town, uh, we want to welcome everyone to come. Um, you know, more power to that. Everyone, come and join us. Uh, but the idea of it is because in the 60s and the 70s it was the golden age of Cambodia cinema, and everything was wiped out and destroyed during the killing fields. And it's very hard to find archival footage of old Cambodian cinemas and films. And I just thought of an idea to where we can actually make a film festival and not just highlight what's going on now, but also highlight and, and give a, you know, uh, for the younger generation to see how monumental and how great Cambodian cinema was in the 60s and 70s. And we wanted to showcase that. And when that came about, we started putting together teams and stuff like that. And Kaylee came on. And I, I, would honest, I would honestly say that she's a, you know, not just a, a co-director of the festival, but she's also a co-founder right. because it's, this is the first year. And right. we're, you know, I, I don't think without her and the team, I don't think it would be possible. I heard about the festival from Proc Lee two years ago when we met at the University of Ohio. It seems to me that Proc had been working on it for years now. Kaylee, what made you want to be involved with the project? Uh. Well, I I was doing a, my thesis film in uh, Long Beach, California, and it's uh, about a 17-year-old girl living in a Cambodian gambling community. And Pratch had a phone called me one day and asked if I needed any help with the film. And of course, I you know at, at that point I I had no idea who Pratch Lee was. And and after that point, I listened to all his music and I just became a fan. <laughs> Killing in the field, still they feel no pity. Voices in the village, silence in the city. Powerless. And uh, I, he contributed a lot to the music in the film. And when the film wrapped and when we showed the film, premiered the film, uh, we just became friends. And he came up with this idea that we he wanted to do a Cambodia Town Film Festival. And I always thought it would, would be a, a fantastic idea to come up with something like that because I, for one, didn't grow up on Cambodian films. Um, I grew up in Northern Virginia, you know, and uh, so... Uh, to to be immersed in that culture was uh, was a great thing for me. And the the other thing is too is um like Cambodian not just Cambodian cinema but Cambodian filmmaker nowadays they're very they're very talented. I mean, say for instance, I'm pretty sure you had uh, Kalyani, right. you know, her film Inside Job won Best Picture, right. um, and now her A River Changes Courses won Sundance, and she's also part of our committee members. Oh. And then Kaylee herself, you know, she she won the DGA award, you know, for um, congratulations to that yeah. by the way. For Best Picture graduate goes to. Paulina. And we wanted to showcase that, like uh, Cambodian filmmakers, and highlight their not just their success, but also show it to the world. Okay. And um, and we wanted to give a platform to show filmmakers. And it won't be just films. We're also showing, uh, we're also showing music videos, and we're also having artists and performers performing at the event as well. But. Uh, and I also think it's great because it's almost like we're building a bridge between, you know, here and Cambodia. And now the younger generation gets to see what Cambodia is like through the films and the story that we tell in these films. And, and I think that's what excites me and that's what excites everybody. That yeah. And there's, there's animations, there's short films, there's uh, documentaries, there's, um, you know, uh, narrative films. So there's, it's all different, uh, different films, and you know, of course, some of the filmmakers will be there to represent their film as well. Yeah. And then we have an after party. I think that's one everyone's looking for. Right. We have like we booked like three different, uh, you know, uh, restaurants and also clubs. Yeah. And you, of course, I, I'm hoping you can make it there. Absolutely. And all you guys better come. All you guys better come. Yeah, some peer Through our VOA interviews with Kay Lee, I hope our audience has gotten to know you. You were in the army and went to Iraq. I know that you, Kaylee, and the group have been promoting the festival. Yeah, so uh, we just finished our West Coast tour, and now we're, uh, like you just said, now we're here in the East Coast tour promoting. It's just a battle for tomorrow. It starts today. Afraid of no one. That's just how I was raised. Look at me. I'm living proof of the 
uh, it's more of an outreach and letting people know that we're having a festival and not just in California, but we want people from all over the states, if not all over the world, to attend because it's going to be the first and the largest. In promoting the festival, what was your role and Kaylee's role? Well, the format that we've, we've chosen to use is um, Pratch would introduce kind of the film through his songs and um, he would do a performance, a live performance, a 15-minute live performance, and after which we, we would talk about, introduce Paulina, the film that I directed, and then we would show Paulina, and then we would talk about the Cambodia Town Yeah, so the they get the year. best of both worlds. So they get entertained and also, you know, uh, to see a live performance and also get to see a movie, you know. Yeah. And we're, you know, both directors of the festival, so and, and we're there in person to talk to them about it. A person that came up to me and said, hey, you know what, we're having a Cambodia Town in Lowell, Massachusetts that's in development right now. Can you guys do a Cambodia Town in Lowell too? You know, maybe next, the next following year and stuff like that. So maybe that's, you know, that's something we can talk about maybe later on. Um, not just in Cambodia Town and Long Beach, but also in Lowell. And, you know, from having it in the West Coast and also in East Coast. I heard that you have been promoting the festival in cities in the West. What is your plan next? Sacramento, Sacramento, Stockton, uh, uh, Portland, yeah. but um, and then now here we have uh, Philadelphia, Connecticut. Yeah. We were going to do Lowell as yeah. well, but unfortunately, yeah. uh, it was yeah. didn't time permit. Yeah. Are participants required to buy tickets? Uh, where it's, it's free. Some it's free. Some they paid, you know, a suggested donation because yeah. the money that we get goes to our film festival. Yeah. And uh, some they just buy an admission ticket, ten dollar, twenty dollars. Prak, now our interview comes to an end, but can you rap for us for 30 seconds of one of your songs? កាហៅថាវីស៊ីអោយ <laughs> អូយដំនោបណែមហ្នឹងវិរិទ្ធដូរាស្អាតដូចផ្កាវិជ្ជាដាដាននីទេពតាដាដូចដីសវេតហ្នឹងសាមវសោតដាននីដារាជួនចា